Ooh. It's been a minute, but I am here to bring you not one video, but two videos. So one of this look and then one just about the brows. So I am dedicating the brow video to my cousin. My cousin currently has cancer and that sucks, but she's still a child. She's, as I was saying, my cousin currently has cancer. She's fighting cancer right now and she's beginning to lose some brows, but I am here. This is the part that I totally screwed up on, but yes, I dedicate this video to my cousin. I love you so much. I also dedicate the brow video to you. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's keep watching. So we are starting off with concealing my bags under my cheeks, under my eyes. What am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're concealing first. Uh, I think I'm using Too Faced um, Born This Way concealer, I want to say I'm using. And so, yeah, I am concealing it up. Now I'm cream contouring with Black Opal, and it is their foundation sticks so yeah i'm using that around the perimeter of my head and along my jawline gotta get snatched baby so with this makeup this is not really my everyday makeup i only do this for shoots in the summertime because it's so hot in texas and yeah i have to now that we're wearing masks i have to have something to last long so i am putting the foundation on top i think the foundation i'm wearing is a waterproof foundation from mac cosmetics i'm going over my contour and over my highlighted area it's all going to blend in really good and this is going to give me an extra full coverage look um yeah i normally don't go for this but now i am i just have to especially since it's hot outside and you know I need to make it last for my photo shoots. So I did conceal my eyelids and now I'm setting it with a powder, translucent powder. Just make sure it's blended out so it won't be creased or anything because you know you want that eyeshadow to lay down perfectly. And now we are going to take a powder puff and we're going to set it. I'm setting it with MAC um, Studio Fix Powder in NC42. I'm going to set the highlighted areas. Um, I no longer really highlight my forehead because I have a big forehead, so it's no need to highlight it, you know. I need a shorter forehead. Actually, I really love my forehead. I like how my forehead is already by itself, so I really just don't need to highlight it. It don't need to get more bigger than it is right now. Dang, this is fast. It's going fast. Oh, slow down, Kaya. <laughs> I'm using powder now um, to set my face like all over. And this is also how I make the makeup last under a mask whenever I have to go out with makeup on. And I'm contouring now with the, uh, I think this is by Black Opal. I'm not sure who this is by. I'm contouring, putting on some blusher. I think this is a Mariah Carey blush from MAC. They no longer sell it. It was like a collection. Uh, contouring and snatching this nose. I'm trying to get a little slimmer nose for you. This is not Black Opal. I don't think this is Black Opal. I forgot what this company is called. But, you know, you can get it at the um, Walmart or wherever store you like to shop at. <laughs> I normally see it at Target, you know. This video is going super fast, you guys. Did not know that. I do have a video on my brows. So I'm not going to go into too much detail. But I like really feathery brows. And, of course, I am baking to get, like, a more highlighted look under my eyes but also to catch the fallout of my eyeshadow so now i'm going to go in with pinker this is from the jackie palette and i'm going to put that in my crease and on top of that i will be using supreme to blend that out so i'm going to be using a smaller blending brush
And here comes Big Wig. We're going to pack that all on my lid. Make it super dark, super purple. And then we're going to take a smaller brush again, a blending brush. And we're going to mix um, that purple color with the pinker color in the crease. So it can mix together. As you see, so it, so it should flow. And then we're going to get to the correct blend. And, and then we'll be finished with our eyes. Then we're going to wipe off uh, the translucent powder. I like to wipe it off with the NC42 powder that I used in the MAC Studio Finish. I mean, sorry, Studio Fix powder. And we're going to go under our eyes and blend that out. And voila, ooh, I just appeared with some lashes on all of a sudden. Like, who is this girl? Who is she? She's lining her lips with some type of Morphe uh, lip pencil. <laughs> the lip pencil is in, I honestly don't know. I think bar. Yeah. And then we're going to use a Lime Crime Cashmere. This is one of my favorite nude lipsticks. I need to find another nude lipstick, but this is one of my favorites. I love it so much. I have been using uh, this e.l.f. dewy spray for a while now, and I love it, and it's cheap. Uh, I no longer have to buy the expensive stuff. It does the same job, and I'm going to blend that out. Um, just pounce it on my face with this beauty blender. Actually, I got that from Mrs. A for like a dollar, and it's like one of the best beauty blenders I've ever used. We're going to put some highlight on so my cheeks can be snatched. And then I'm going to put some gloss on. I think this is from my old collection, an old MAC collection. I'm a MAC girl. I used to work for them. So that's all I have in my collection, really. And this is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I really enjoyed making this video. It was so hard <laughs> making this video. Um, I'm just blessed to still be here. And I hope you guys are being safe out there during this pandemic. And, you know, please stay safe. Please wear your mask, you know. Uh, let me know what you want to, want me to do next. And, yeah, thank you so much for watching me. Thank you. Bye-bye.